Hi. So today we are going to start our first topic of AQA GCSE Physics Combined Science and this topic is energy. In this topic of energy we'll start off with the energy stores and systems. So let's discuss what is a system. So a system is a it can be an object or a group of objects. All right? So system is an object or a group of objects. Group of objects. So this is what a system is called. Now we ha we have to discuss about the energy stores in these systems. How the energy is stored in a system. So remember one thing that energy will can only be stored in a system if the system changes if there is some if we see some change in a system only then we can say the energy has been stored in a system now uh, what could be those changes let's suppose i'll write it here energy will be stored in a system will be stored in a system when it changes when it changes now we'll discuss how a system changes so let's start off with the first example number one let's suppose if an object is projected upwards so when an object is projected upwards we see some energy changes in that object now in this case this object is called a system all right so i'll write it here so let's suppose this is the ground here's the object and this object is projected upwards now at the ground this object has zero potential energy i will discuss potential energy in the uh, later part of this chapter so over here it doesn't have any energy so when it moves upwards at this point it has some energy due to its position due to its height so this system has the storage of energy all right now the next thing the next example would be if an if a moving object hits an obstacle A moving object hitting an obstacle so let's suppose this is a wall this is the ground an object is moving towards right with some speed and after some time it hits the wall now let's call this position A and let's call this position B. Now at position A the object was moving with some velocity, with some speed. So at position A the object had the kinetic energy. When it hit the wall, this kinetic energy will be converted into heat energy like th uh, heat and sound energy. So we can say that the heat and sound energy has been generated from the kinetic energy and uh, because the object has changed its position so energy has been stored or we can say that energy has been transferred from one form of energy to another one. All right. Now the next thing is the next example we could discuss is about the a constant uh, an object accelerated by a constant force so an object accelerated by a constant force now in this example we'll discuss the example of a car so let's suppose this is a car 
it is constantly being accelerated so when the car is being accelerated we can say the speed of the car will keep on increasing with with the passage of time so what is happening here this car is an object and we can call this a system so in this system the will the speed of an object is increasing so when the speed of the object is increasing so the energy is being stored in some way so when the object is being constantly accelerated the energy is being stored as in the form of kinetic energy so when it accelerates its speed will increase hence the kinetic energy of the car will increase so we can uh, we have seen the uh, in this case the energy has been stored in the form of kinetic energy of the car now the next scenario we can discuss is about a vehicle that is being slowed down a vehicle slowing down now what happens when a vehicle slows down the energy is being stored somewhere so we'll again consider the example of a car on which the brakes are being applied so this is the car that is moving on the road the brakes are being applied onto the car and the speed of the car has been reduced now the we can we, we will see the in which form of the energy will increase in this scenario so in this scenario the form of energy that will increase will be the thermal energy due to the brakes and the force of friction between the tires and the road and the sound so energy in this case is being stored into thermal energy and sound energy when the this car has changed its position or in other words we can say that this system has changed its its position and it has generated thermal energy and sound energy so this is how the energy is being generated when a system changes its position so that is all uh, from this topic of energy stores and system